What's up, everybody? Rothstein here, betting public sports show. Okay, uh, this is the first episode of uh, 2023. It's uh, it's about 6 p.m. Eastern on January 3rd, 2023. No action on, sh- on on the show today, okay? No action today. Just gonna talk a little shit. Uh, you know, I haven't done a uh, show in a couple weeks. Um, one, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gassed. Doing way too much. I'm gassed. All right. But two, uh, very important meeting next week about the uh, show I've been telling you about. All right. We're going to be uh, on that. But uh, I just, just want to drop a little line, let everybody know I'm still out here. We still here. We still getting it. All right. And uh, yeah, like everybody else, I'm kind of uh, flushed. Like, like, well, like every adult. I'm kind of flushed about the, uh, what's his name, DeMar Hamlin, the uh, bus- Buffalo Bills um, safety, the young man, uh, I mean, for, you know, I mean, cardiac arrest on the field, pretty much died on the field, but apparently uh, they revived him, and he's at the University of the Republic of Cincinnati, well, the, the University of Cincinnati, I shouldn't say that, let's keep it a little... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to leave the levity today. Uh, University of Cincinnati Hospital, one of the best trauma uh, hospitals in the region, probably the best hospital in the city, so he's getting the best care around here. You know, um, you know, prayers for him, him and his family, his teammates, the, Bing- the, the Bengals players too. I mean, you know, seeing a, a football player having to do CPR on the field while he's down, I mean, you see how he dropped. I mean, that was just scary, you know, and, and I, you know, the players didn't want to play. No, I, I didn't want to watch anymore. And when I heard that he was given CPR, you know, who was it? Uh, Lisa Salters or Joe Buck and Aikman. When I heard that he was they had to perform CPR, I was like, yeah, they don't want to play. And I don't blame them. You know, and as far as your uh, action, if you had action on the game, from what I understand, all bets will be uh, voided. You know, even from what I, I heard that the uh, first touchdown score for uh, the teams, uh, who was that, that guy for the Bengals, who coincidentally scored the uh, touchdown against Baltimore. I forget his damn name. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but he scored the touchdown that, give the, that gave the Bills the uh, playoffs a couple years ago. Remember that? Um scored a late touchdown for the Bengals against Baltimore that propelled, uh, like I said, the Bills to the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, prayers, that's a vet, very uh, just sad and just just sad to watch and everything. But you want to know something? I saw, I saw a Facebook meme today that said four of the worst injuries in the NFL history have all happened in the, on the same field you know, pay courses, you know, pay core field, what it's called now, but Paul Brown Stadium, downtown Cincinnati, you know, the, uh, well, last night's injury, DeMar Hamlin, pardon me, guys. Uh, yeah, DeMar Hamlin, uh, that was Tua's injury from earlier this year. We, you know, his fingers, you know, twirled up on him when he, because he had such a bad concussion. Then you had the two, con- then you had the concussion with Antonio Brown that, pretty much uh, got him acting crazy or, you know, doing what he's doing right now. And then lastly, um, the Ryan Shazier uh, injury. Uh, Maybe 2016, maybe. You know, he got pretty much ended his career. Okay? Um, But there's something about Cincinnati Fields because I was there in April I believe it was 1996. I wasn't even 20 yet. With the 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 Major League Baseball umpire John McSherry uh, died on the field. I think he took a pitch or two. You know, I think it was a pitch or two, and then he, you know, uh, kind of walked, started trying to walk back into the umpire's room and dropped and died there. So yes, yeah, it's, it's something weird. I don't want to say weird. I don't even want to try and bring any levity into this situation. Just, you know, because I'm, I'm looking at Hamlin. I'm looking at my own mortality uh, as I'm older. You know, McSherry was just like, oh, wow. Didn't really think that much of, about it at the time. You know, like I said, I was 19 going on 20, 
three months later. And then, you know, and then yesterday, yesterday was all kinds of fucked up for me anyway. Personally, you know, had a little bout, bout with one of my kids and that, you know, I didn't like that. And then this, then that situation later that night, it was just like, damn, this is, this, this day is all jacked up for me. But yeah, um, but yeah, so I just wanted to drop y'all a little note, let you know we're still out here. We'll be back uh, probably next weekend, not this coming weekend, but for the NFL playoffs the weekend after. You know, because Bizarro Week, we don't do much on the uh, NFL the last weekend of the regular season anyway. So we'll be back next weekend uh, for when the playoffs start, all right? But uh, until then, everybody, y'all be well. You know, uh, prayers to the uh, Bills organization and the Hamlin family and whatnot. And, um, yeah, let's just stay tuned. You know, we're going to keep, you know, uh, you know, still hashtag safe betting. Still hash, hashtag EFP. We'll be back. All right. And uh, everybody stay well. But until then, be well. Peace.